this is Melody, the massage therapist. Today I'm going to brag about one of my dear clients who moved away a number of years ago. But I used to work on her in the early 2000s and she was working the, the job, day job, so that she could do what she loved, which was writing. And so she was working a, a job while she was writing this book, The Twelve Gifts of Birth. And um, Charlene Costanzo. Oh, this is Bubba, my dog. Anyways, Charlene wrote The Twelve Gifts of Birth, and then she went on to write The Twelve Gifts for Healing, The Twelve Gifts in Marriage, and um, Touchstones, Stories for Living, The Twelve Gifts. And I know I have, there's a 13th gift book, Charlene, and I can't, I'm not sure where it is, but Charlene has another book too. Anyways, but today I'm going to read a story called A Perfect Name, and um, it's a really precious book with um, uh, beautiful pictures uh, illustrated by Liam Pham. I know, I'm sorry if I'm batching up that word. A Perfect Name by Charlene Costanzo. Pictures by Liam Pham. A note to parents. In this story, Mama and Papa Potamus consider many names for their beloved little one. Children hearing the tale are likely to ask, What does my name mean? There is power in the way we answer. We must do so with care. It's fun and easy to look up meanings in name books or on websites about the naming process. However, this information alone may limit a child. Every child needs to know that he or she, like little one, is loved and has many wondrous qualities and abilities. You may wish to incorporate this message and your own naming story into your answer. Our thoughtful answers will help our children understand that like little one, each of us is a gift. In knowing this, may every child find real meaning. For Anna Victoria and Stephen Albert, who named me Charlene Ann and encouraged me to find the meaning of who I am in loving memory, CC. To all those people I met and traveled with while on safari in South Africa, November 1999, with fondest memories, LP. Mama and Papa Potamus sat side by side. They searched through the name book one more time. Florella, Mama said. Hmm, that has a nice sound. What does it mean? asked Papa. Like a flower, said Mama. Papa rocked the cradle and smiled at sleeping little one. She is a pretty flower, he said. Prettier than all the flowers that grow along the Wada Wada River. Let's add Florella to the maybe list. Mama unrolled the maybe list and wrote Florella on the bottom. After names that meant Moonbeam, Dancing Princess, and brave as a bear. We can't add any more names to the to think about, Papa, said Mama. We each need to choose one. The naming ceremony is tomorrow. I know, Mama, said Papa, but we must give our daughter a suitable name. A perfect name. Papa stood up and paced while Mama read out loud. Stella, Lenora, Mituna, Philomena, Feyina, Golda, Ethel, Josephina. Wait, Mama, he said. I've got an idea. Papa whispered softly into little one's ear. Mama watched for a smile or a frown. Jobina, Bertha, Matilda, Frida, Luba, 
Leah, Mildred, Zia. Little ones stretched and yawned, but gave them no clue. Later they watched as she ate and played. She's so healthy and wonderful, said Papa. Her name should mean that. That's Drusilla Marilla, said Mama. But look, she's graceful and talented too. Then we should call her Zuza Pandora, said Mama. And so kind, so friendly, Addie Amissa, said Mama. But sometimes quiet and shy, Myra Modesta, said Mama. Papa sighed, so many beautiful names. Daylight dimmed. Again, Papa rocked the cradle and studied sleeping little one. What name will fit her, he asked. What name will bring her luck? A night creature howled. It's late, said Mama. Maybe our dreams will help us. That night, Papa dreamed of gifts from heaven. Warm rain, cool mud, sweet grass, and his own little one. While he slumbered, he snored. Mama couldn't sleep, so Mama didn't dream. Papa woke when a morning bird chattered. He remembered happy dreams, but still had no name for little one. We'll look for a sign, dear Papa, said Mama. Distant drums called them to the naming ceremony. Mama, Papa, and little one followed the path to the Wada Wada River. Over the top of the grassy hill, through the trees, through the reeds, everyone was there, waiting along the riverbank. Little one was the first to reach the water. After a few timid steps, she splashed and laughed. Dipping up and down, she turned ripples into waves. Thousands of water stars sparkled around her. Look at our jewels, said Mama. So heavenly, said Papa. Everyone joined Little One. They made music and shared food all day long. They danced and sang and celebrated. When the red sun faced the round yellow moon, the crowd hushed. It was time to announce Little One's name. Mama and Papa Potamus stood before their daughter. Together they said the ancient prayer wish. May you grow to be old. May your dreams come true. We love you, Little One. And now we name you. Dorina, said Papa, a gift from the heavens. Cordula, said Mama, a jewel in the water. As Dorina, Cordula smiled, everyone cheered and said it was a perfect name. <laughs>